We have breaking news this evening out of Formula One, where Haas have sensationally sacked team principal Gunther Steiner after he was unable to pay the swear jar and forced to declare bankruptcy. Now, his replacement is set to be announced as Pierre Gasly's former wingman, Ozzy Villain. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, well, this is exciting, isn't it? Uh, let me start by introducing myself as the new Haas team principal, Ozzy Villain. Uh, I am beyond excited to get started. Really can't wait. But I'm sure there's going to be a few questions. So, um, yeah. Yeah, Richard Lovelady, American sportscaster. Uh, now, can you tell us anything about your philosophy for this team? Yeah, Dick, I can. Uh, now, as an American team, it really only makes sense that we'd be looking to uh, promote American interests. So uh, on that front, we'll be looking to get American drivers in the car as soon as is uh, realistically feasible. Yeah, Ozzy, and do you have any comment regarding your predecessor? Honestly, I, I think that the language that he used was f***ing disgusting. We're supposed to be a f***ing professional outfit, and you know, you go around f***ing here and f***ing there. It makes us look like a bunch of f***ing wankers. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to Haas, or more specifically, Kicking Haas, because we are going to turn Haas into America's team. We are going to use only American drivers, or more or less only American drivers. Uh, Haas seemed to be the obvious choice on the when I did the video last time, the introductory video. Uh, that was who almost unanimously everybody wanted, so that's who we're going to be. So, uh, good to Steiner is out, Ozzy Villain is in, and let's have a look and see what we have to work with here. Uh, so if we have a look at the board objectives... Uh, board confidence is obviously going to be uh, nothing as of yet. Uh, score a podium finish in 25% of this season's races. It's a long-term objective. I know it says this season's races, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that, but hopefully we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But 25% this season does seem a lot. Now, the budget that we have, uh, we have a season budget of $57.5 million. Uh, so we can see that there. And the objective is to finish sixth or above in the constructors. The team rating, I'm not 100% sure what all of this is just yet, but we can see it all there. We're an underdog, and I'm not completely sure how, how you work towards these tiers, but assuming... I would think that you just kind of, as you do better, you get a better score. So right now we are the underdog, and I guess that is the football manager equivalent of a newly promoted side. Uh, the profile of the team, now we more or less saw this, uh, didn't we, last uh, last time, but um, basically we have achieved nothing. Yeah, there have been no podium scored, no po oh, there's that this season. No, that's me personally. So yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get rid of some of those zeros in the... <laughs> <laughs> in the coming uh, days, weeks, and months here. Rules and regulations, we don't have to worry too much about those. Uh, our drivers, we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, we'll go to the inbox and we'll get our welcome email. So that's all uh, That's all well and good. The calendar, now I think it's going to be had 11 days until the first race. Now we've got, it looks like, some aero testing and some just general pre-season testing and some other things coming up there. Uh, now the circuits, we know that Bahrain is the next race and we will tackle that uh, next episode. I haven't figured out an exact schedule yet for for when this is going to be. It'll be semi. It'll be a regular series through the week, like at least two episodes. Uh, I, I'm thinking. We, I don't know. I just haven't figured it out exactly yet. We'll try and do at least two races uh, every week. Uh, so now the car here. Now if we can show compared to rank or show the rank on the grid, so we can see that. Now that's car rank. So sort of Harvard. Uh, so, so yeah, 10th would be in the top five teams, more or less. So we're not terrible. We are very much mid-pack, aren't we, in terms of this season's car, it looks like. And the powertrain, uh, again, we can see there uh, with nothing changes, actually, does it? But uh, yeah, so we're more or less a mid-pack sort of team to start with, which is fine. We can work on that. Car analysis. Uh, well, this is more or less what we've just seen. Now, I'm not smart enough to know exactly what all of this means, but for those of you who are, you can see there our uh, our ins and outs. And if we compare it to, uh, let's say, let's say the McLaren, who in real life I think it has is sort of just behind, aren't they? And we compare fairly favorably there, I'd say. It doesn't look like those bars are too much. Uh, more orange than than white so that's uh, that's a positive and uh car part development now we will need to start looking at exactly what we want to do here to develop the car and 
well, let's maybe while we're here have a look. Well, let's have a look at our staff first, and then we'll worry about what we're doing there. Now, do we have any other any projects ongoing currently? No, we don't. We have 10 engineers available, so we can come back to that momentarily. <clears throat> Now, drivers, this is this is what is going to make us America's team. We currently obviously have the two drivers and then uh, Pietro Fittipaldi as the development driver. Now, I'm thinking what I would like to do is kind of do this semi-realistically. Now, it doesn't cost much to break Schumacher's contract, but he is 76 rated. I think I don't know that I want to go and break a contract instantly. Um for a starter because i don't think in real life you would the new teenager would come in with a philosophy that changed to american drivers and just sack people instantly i that's not i don't think how it would go but he's not on too much money he's up at the end of this year anyway so i think it's a good opportunity to just let him have the season and go from there now k mag has three years left on his contract i think that's said so i again and the cost to break is quite substantial so i don't think we'll be doing that uh but i, I think we're going to need a few years to bring through some american drivers now the one thing that is a little bit frustrating almost i'd go as far as to say is that there's you can't have uh, academy drivers which might work in our in our favor it might not now pietro fittipaldi is the uh, reserve now he's 25 he is not particularly highly rated and he, the cost to break his contract is not much now, if we go and have a look at American drivers who could come in, uh, obviously, because that's what we want. Now, if we go down, I've uh, tried to bookmark in my brain here. So Logan Sargent is the main one. Now, he's not he's not scouted, but he is American. He's 21. He's a good driver. And I think, I don't want to risk losing out on him. I think we bring him straight in as a reserve driver. We give him, let's say, a five-year deal. I don't know how much he's going to want, but let's say 350. That's a fairly, fairly good contract, I would have thought. Let's offer him the deal. And he declines it. So we'll go back. So five seasons is not what he wants. So what if we do two, two seasons? Because in all likelihood, that my plan here is that he's going to accept that is he yes he is so we'll get uh, logan sergeant in perfect so there we go logan sergeant is a hash driver so we've got our first american on board and my plan here is that what will happen he will come in and and replace schumacher for next season so we'll try and give him some fp one time this season and and sort of get him ready get him ready to come in he's got good growth potential so yeah hopefully as I say, he will be ready to go next year for Mick Schumacher. Now, if we go down and have a look at the other Americans that we have available, and this is where it becomes a little bit more longer term, I think, in what we need to do. So, I mean, we're still scrolling, looking for an American. Jack Crawford is the next one. Now, we're going to give him a scout. He's only 16, so we can't sign him anyway. I think it's you've got to be 18 to yeah before they can get a uh, a formula one contract so that being the case we know that magnuson has three years on his contract so i mean given that he is the next highest rated uh, american we need to wait at least two years to get him anyway uh now if we keep going down there are a couple more kaylin frederick rated 51 he is 19 uh we will give him a scout as well uh i'll just do a couple of We'll give him a standard scouting so we can have a look at all the American drivers as quickly as possible. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what he can do. He's not eligible for Formula One yet either. Uh, he hasn't uh, completed two seasons in F2 or F3. And again, if we go down to have a look, Juan Manuel Correa. Now, you may remember he was the guy that was sadly involved in that accident that uh, killed Antoine Hubert. So he's a little bit older. He's coming back from that serious injury. Now, he's someone we could actually... We could actually sign him, but again, he's, he's not the highest rated driver going around, and he is already 22. So we'll give him a scout and see if there's much room for development there. But I'm thinking he may have missed the boat that we're looking for. And the other driver that we would have available to us is uh, there should be two more. There should be Hunter Yaney here, another 16-year-old. He's only 39 rated. Um, again, we can't sign him yet because he's got to he's got to do his apprenticeships. But yeah, whether he's there's enough development potential there for him. And the other one is Brad Vena, uh, Benavides had a good race in uh, in Silverstone. 
the Silverstone in Spa, uh, the F3 race. And again, not the highest rated at only 37 and he's 20 years old. So again, we'll give him a scout, see what sort of development potential there is there. But it's looking to me, now there will obviously be new drivers coming to the game. Hopefully there'll be some Americans in there for us. But it is looking to me as though Crawford is the best bet to come in and be uh, and be the number two driver to Logan Sargent once he is eligible to, to be able to come in and do just that. Now, unfortunately with staff, there is no, that I can see, uh, nationality. So it's not going to quite be 100% an American team because unless I've missed it, and if you know how to find a, a, a staff member's nationality, please do let me know in the comments. But I just don't think that we're going to be able to, to do that. So we'll just get the best staff we can, which is fine. I think, you know, we'll, we'll have American drivers uh, as soon as possible. Now let's go and have a look at our facilities here car development facilities we've got level one factory uh which we can look to upgrade at in time uh we've got a, a development design center which is a level two we've got the wind tunnel we've got the cfd simulator cfd i'm not sure exactly what that stands for it's uh it's a fancy word i'm sure uh we've got the suspension simulator and the car park test center all of these things we will want to try and upgrade over time but i feel like episode one is not the time to do that staff facilities we haven't got a team hub which is a place for uh basically for people to, to hang out scouting department is there and we don't have a race simulator either now a race simulator seems like something especially if we're going to be developing young american drivers that we're going to want to have so I'm going to say we go ahead and build that now. And that's got us down to 13 million remaining. Maybe let's just hold off. We might want to develop the car more than we want to develop drivers just now. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we won't do that. And operations facilities, we've got a boardroom. Hospitality, we don't have just yet. Weather center, we do have. Uh, we don't have a helipad. We don't have a memorabilia room, possibly because we don't have any memorabilia. And we don't have a tour center either. Uh, now that does produce income and it doesn't cost that much to build let the people come to america's team so we'll get that done and uh, we'll have a, a tour center so that'll be exciting and that is the facilities the board i think we've just seen that haven't we already and finances the season balance if we can get a breakdown and projection so outgoing so we've got a balance of okay so the, that's the balance that we have at this point in time so what I'm not fully understanding from this is sort of a monthly income kind of deal. Is that balance going to go up or down? Projections might, might tell me this. The projected balance... Okay, so the projected balance is quite good. So we possibly don't have anything to worry about, but we'll just... We'll be a little bit conservative to start with before we can figure things out so the monthly balance is five million in the uh in the black so that or the green as the case may be so that's absolutely fine uh the cost cap we have a lot of uh, cost cap room to spend so we're not actually in, in that bad a financial place and the sponsorships uh we can see there now there is some some um obligations that we have to get money and if you've played the game, uh, you, we basically joined this too late to set those up for this season. So they've already that's already happened. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see we'll see that more. I would imagine in future uh, seasons and standings, we can see there. Obviously, nothing has happened as of yet. So I think before we should have preseason testing, shouldn't we? So I think before we we go and, and develop anything for the car, we probably should do pre-season testing and get a better idea of where we're at we've got uh requires response here what have we got here uh car development key staff we've already have we, we've already met that oh, did, we, did we meet the staff we didn't actually check the staff did we so we've got a good technical chief rated 80 the head of aerodynamics is not too bad rated 77 now these guys can improve as well uh now he is 43 so there is room for him to improve which is good race engineers a 70 which is could be better let's be honest and we've got a 77 low affinity with k mag but that's they're, they're probably well they will be a new uh, working working relationship won't they so we'll uh we'll just kind of let that develop engineering team current size is 10 members we can't increase that as of yet uh we'll assign engineers in just a second when we get to having a look at the car the scouting team 
uh well they're both busy scouting young americans for us and the pit crew uh there is work, there is work to be done now changing tires that's actually quite poor isn't it so i think our training focus might need to be on uh on changing tires we need to be quicker because this is, there's so much time it's, it's free time in the pits isn't it so that needs to at least catch up to the next the next lowest before we get, look to go back to a balance and uh, we won't bother scouting staff members just yet um so that is that welcoming logan sergeant uh which is good uh hey where was that so there's welcoming logan sergeant in so he's here for two years as the reserve but like i say the, the plan the long-term plan or the medium-term plan is to promote him to a race seat next season uh, sponsorship obligations well we've already just seen those and the uh, pre-season party or uh yeah we're obviously going to have a party what sort of uh sort of boss would i be if we didn't have a pre-season party um now we haven't had the testing yet have we there's testing there it's we've skipped straight past it so the testing results we can see here now a little bit better where we stand in relation to everything so 13th good in low speed corners bad in high speed corners and uh, we could see everything else there so high speed corners the faster the corner the worse we are basically so that gives us an idea of of where we need to improve doesn't it we need to be we need to be better at high speed corners so let's go and have a look at designing something now the new formula one is supposed to be very much uh underfloor related isn't it so let's we've got 6.9 hours here now the longer we go we should see little green arrows popping up here so if we can do all the way there what i'm thinking that we might do and let me know if you guys have had any strategies with this i think i'd rather have a few big upgrades big improvements rather than a, a regular small ones so i'm thinking we just burn through this 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 thing and th that's sort of absolutely fine so if we go back to 1.8 and that seems to have a few things there wind tunnel hours let's do a similar so we get a similar sort of result now can we get downforce over here car part attribute can that start to oh there we go and we need the high speed come on come on give me high speed give me high speed um we don't want to do okay we don't want to we don't want to burn through everything here do we okay so we just want to get to there okay so that's going to be a, it's a sizable investment for us i think we probably want to try and keep it all neutral particularly until i kind of figure out or you guys can help me figure out what this basically means what we don't want to do is turn a strength into a weakness by not having good slow speed uh six is the most we can do if we rush it so we're looking at 34 days to design it um the cost is 1.3 million i think that's okay we'll try and get it through as quickly as possible because we need we need to be good in the corners don't we it's that's just that's just a fact of life we've got four chassis we've got six wings we've got six wings i'm thinking what we probably want to do is have a sort of spares of everything now if we got we've got a new suspension part here and we don't have we've only got one of it so we're going to want to build uh three more so we've got two for each car suspensions maybe something you want six of isn't it so if you have two crushes over the weekend you've still got a spare for each car so i th we might need to rush that as well to make sure we have it for the first race uh so that's fine we'll do that and then we're going to want to go back to cars now and we're going to want to fit that new suspension onto each car so suspension um change to that install and inst no we don't have enough okay so we'll do it on car one right now no it's not on car two and we'll do it on car one when we have a chance we'll we'll, we'll, we'll have them both we'll, no, <laughs> both cars will have it um so let us now continue ahead again we have got the tour center has been built so i don't know what that means let's go and have a look at our facilities we're getting ready to go to a race as well no, 
that's finances, that's facilities. So operationally, we have a tour center and we have an extra uh, 13 grand a week coming in. So we can show off our facilities to boost the income to offering fans a backstage glimpse at your team's inner workings. Yeah, well, there we go. That's exciting to have. Let's go and check the inbox. We have completed our scouting of Kalen Frederick. So let's go and have a quick look at him. Is he someone potentially that we could see ourselves hiring in the future? So he has high growth potential. His current rating is 51. So if we... I don't know how much high potential is, but... He might be worth coming in as a reserve driver as of next season, uh, but he is only in F3. Ideally, I'd like to see him progress to F2. And this is where I'd like to be able to have like an ac driver academy. We could have the HAD, the Haas uh, Academy drivers, and yeah, it'd be good to you know so we can we can actually go and develop. But of course, for example, Jack Crawford would be in the Red Bull Academy already, so uh, it wouldn't necessarily be as useful for us as I would like to think. But uh, we're getting ready to go and race. Now let's go and see if we can get a suspension piece on this car installed in development. Yeah, so we don't have we don't have the new suspension for both cars, which is a little bit annoying. But Mick Schumacher's car one he will have the old one and Magnussen will have the new one, which is I think fair enough given that Magnussen is is clearly the better driver. I don't think that's debatable, is it? He's rated higher, so therefore he gets the better uh, he gets the better piece. But guys, that is going to just about do it for today because we are at the Bahrain Grand Prix. So that'll be next episode. We will come back. We will do. Uh, we'll show free practice, qualifying, and also a race. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll try and keep it below an hour in length. And well, let me know how you think we're going to get on this season. Let me know what you think. Who you know, drivers wise, who we should be looking to do, and what should we should when we should be looking to promote them. Uh, but I mean, I guess the big news this episode is that Logan Sargent is in. We have our first American driver, and. Let's hope he develops into a future world champion for us. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer. And I'll see you for the Bahrain Grand Prix next time. Take care.